<laughs> I, I, I'm confused. I'm Tom Field. Oh, dang nabbit. I'm so confused. Like, oh my god. What? Uh, I'm, I'm so confused. Are you confusing yourself? Are you allowing others to confuse you? Why overthink and complicate something, this twin flame journey, that is far simpler than what you're making it out to be? Do you think that, you know, maybe you think that, like, because it's this magnificent gift, right, like, true love, that it has to be hard, or it has to be excruciating, or that it has to be, like, out of reach so like you pile all of this dumb shit on top of it so that you feel better about talking yourself out of having it because it's just out of your grasp for only like a smidgen easier than you know I would go for I would go all in there I would go all for it all in because you're afraid you might fail? Why bother with anything? You know there's a chance you might fail at it. You will never fail if you never quit. But you will 100% fail if you never start. If I, you know, you say like, if I, really, really believed I could get to harmonious union with my twin flame, then I would actually try. But, you know, this person said, I can't be with them. I can't be with my twin flame. And this other person said, you know, not in this lifetime. And this other person said, they're not meant to be your romantic partner. And this other person said, you need to live in another dimension because that's where your twin is. And this other person said that the portal isn't open. The portal is closed for business. And this other person said, you have to, you have to stop wanting to be with them. You have to completely, you know, forget all about them and not have no desire to be with them. Confused enough? Confused by all of these things? You know, they, it's, it's excuses that people, people are telling themselves and they're also just vomiting it out of their mouth. For other people to believe but it's, but it's an excuse excuse after excuse because they aren't willing to do the work to get to harmonious union so they just pile the excuses on top of separation they teach separation you want that nope can't have it separation Think about how many amazing things over the course of history have been achieved because people refuse to give up. Like they refused to not be victorious. They found a way. They asked for help. They kept moving forward. They asked for help. They did whatever they needed to do to succeed. At all costs, they did whatever they needed to do to succeed. Ask yourself if that's what you're doing. Is that your approach to this twin flame journey? Like, they had a desire for something 
and they went all in on it. Didn't matter who said this or that. They weren't going to be swayed. They were going to find the truth for themselves. Like imagine uh, Ben Franklin, right? Ben Franklin was a, in America, was uh, one of the first discoverers of how to harness electricity. And people that preceded him refined it to what it is today, that you flip a switch and voila, you have electricity. But Ben Franklin laid a very, very solid foundation for what it is today. Just a little background here in case you're from somewhere other than America watching this. So Ben Franklin's out there in a rainstorm and he's trying to harness electricity from lightning bolts. So how many people walked by that situation and were like, no, not in this lifetime. You have to live in another dimension. This isn't meant to be. Wrong portal, idiot. Dude, that's so dumb. What if Ben Franklin was like, yeah, you know, that person's right. This is stupid. What was I thinking? I'm not going to pursue this to all of my ability, to the best of my ability. Why bother devoting my energy on this desire that I have? Why... Why go try and, you know, figure out for myself why I have such, a, a, such a, a burning desire in my heart to do this? I'm not going to do it. You know, forget about it. It's 2018. Could you imagine walking around with a fucking oil lamp because there's no such thing as electricity? Like, you have a desire. Go get it. Go all in on it. Stop listening to all the confusing bullshit that you hear. It's simple. Love yourself through your upsets and your blocks. Use the mirror exercise to do that. Dissolve the separation so that you and your twin can come together. You, you can reveal to yourself that you were never separate in the first place. Don't make it more complicated than the divine is intending it to be. So go down below, click the links to my website, see how I can help you through this journey, and I will see you next time.